Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Friday. I know you probably thought you tuned into the wrong channel, huh? the wrong YouTube channel. That dude ain't in his shop. He's not out in his backyard. Yeah, I know. I went out to the dam one time and made a fat wood fire out there one day, but we're going to get out of the shop today and go, uh, go over to a lake that's close by. Maybe do a little tailgater cooking. And uh, we'll see how that all turns out. It'll be a first for me. Um, hope I remembered everything. So we'll see you in a little bit. made it out here uh, to the lake. I found a nice little spot here. <clears throat> I'm really surprised on a Friday there aren't more people out here. But I don't know. Maybe they're buying Halloween costumes or something. I don't know. So let me get all my stuff set up here. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. This is a first. Make a little bit of lunch and then uh, get my fatwood fire in. Actually I think I got a mail call too that uh while that grub's cooking, I can uh, share that mail call with you. So, I'll be right back. Let me get this set up. So I kind of got everything all uh, out of the truck here. So let me get this all set up, and then uh, I'll get my fire going and make a little lunch. So I pretty much got everything set up that I need to set up here. I think unless I forgot something. So I've got a. Uh, I'll turn the camera down here so you can see. It. So I brought some oak with me instead of forging up branches and stuff out here uh, just because I got a bunch of oak. This is some uh, pretty gooey stuff that old Redneck Renegade sent me. This is some Oregon. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it's Doug Fir Fatwood. Anyway, and I got a little bit of the same here. And get us a, a base going. I got some wood in, in, in the stove in the little Nero here. I'm kind of hungry so let me get this going had a chance to use my mora knife axe that i won uh just recently from uh redneck so uh i don't know if you guys see that let's get it over here there we go i'd like to say one and done happy fatwood friday everybody i'm, I'm kind of 
killing two birds with one stone here, getting a tailgater in and getting out of the house. And uh, anyway, so there we go. <clears throat> I'll come back when uh, I can get my uh, pot on here and get some water boiling. We've got, uh, what are we doing? We're doing a uh, norm. I'm going with, uh, I liked what I saw Uncle Chuck have this week. And then uh, Mark does this a lot from uh, Eat Carbs Outdoors. A little broccoli cheddar and I brought some frozen veggies to put in with it. So that ought to be kind of tasty. And I am getting kind of hungry so I'll be right back. So we were out shopping the other day and uh, stopped into a Walmart that we don't usually go into. And I saw a piece of Stanley that I hadn't seen in any of the other Walmarts. And I'd seen some videos on it. So... Uh, I guess you guys can see it now. It's uh, I think they call it the two bowl cook set, but uh, it's 1.5, yeah, I think it's 1.58 or something, so it's a little over a quart and a half. You get uh, the bowl with the handle or the, the cook vessel, and then you get two of their heavy duty uh bowls with lids that double as they say cutting boards and you could probably use them as a plate and then they got some of their uh their breakdown uh utensils here the uh the spatula and then there's a ladle and then they give you two handles too but it all stores inside it's pretty nice uh, i want to say walmart was yeah, I think it was 30, 32 bucks at Walmart, but it all stows together and goes inside of the pot. So let me get some water in here, see if we can get some water boiling and, and get that nor on. So I'll be right back. Okay, the nor calls for uh, one and three quarter cups of water. I think I did my math right. That should be 14 ounces. And some milk and some margarine. Okay, because I'm going to do the vegetables first and then pull them off. I think I'll go ahead and dump these in here while this water's heating up. They're frozen, so they'll add in a little water to whatever, to whatever steams off. Got carrots, green beans. Looks like there might be a lima bean in there some peas yum okay got that be back in a minute so while those veggies are getting hot the idea is once those veggies get rolling a little bit is pour the water off into one of the bowls and save it because it's should be right where i want it for my nor my uh, my nor side and uh, and then we'll pour the veggies into another bowl, cook up our pasta and rice, and then throw them veggies back in there. So let me do this mail call while we're waiting on that. Uh, instead of using up a bunch of video time. This here is from, uh, he had said it was coming. It came from uh, Georgia. I don't know what's in it, but uh, I had sent him some stickers. So this is obviously something a little more than stickers here. It came in a, about a 12 or 13 by 2 by 10 box. So let's get it open here. Let's see what we got. Like I said, I got no idea what's in here. Which is most of the fun of a mail call. A lot of times. I suppose unless you bought something, huh? So let's see, I know, I pretty much thought I knew what it was, but it is a beautiful bag of Georgia Fatwood from Stoney. And he had said uh, when he got my stickers that he was going to send me something, and uh, sure enough, you hear that? Water starting to boil. So
So let me get this open here because I got a note. And then I got some. Oh, yeah. Can you see those? Here, let me get up closer. Stoney's got some cool stickers. There you go. Some of y'all have got some already, I'm sure. Stoney's. <laughs> Stoney's Outdoor Adventures. Boy, I'll say. He wrote me a little note in here. Says he's busy. And he apologizes for taking so long. And you know what, Stoney? You didn't take too long. I ain't in no hurry. Someday you won't be either. That's good. I kind of like the way Chuck lives. Plain old Chuck. He gets around to it when he gets around to it. And that's kind of where I'm at. I was telling the wife that the other day after we got over. Well, we're both better now, but we're still recovering. But um, I told her, I said, you know what? I said, I kind of do what I want to do when I want to do it now. Actually, when I get a dentist appointment or a doctor's, eh, not much doctor. <laughs> when I get a dentist appointment or something I got to go to on time, kind of bothersome. Nice. It's actually nice. So, I can highly recommend it. But, yeah, some, some uh, killer, excuse me. Should have sent it off there to get a good word. Oh, yeah. Very, very potent, very potent fatwood. Let's take a look at these vegetables because they sound like they're they're rolling. They sound like they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh yeah, we got our veggies boiling, so I'm gonna let them tumble just a little bit more, a little bit more to cook them veggies through. But that's working pretty good. Uh, I thought about buying the skillet. I got a cast iron skillet. That might be my next purchase is the Stanley skillet, but then I really like cast iron skillets to cook in. But uh, yeah, this seems to work really good. It fits the Nero really well. Um, I got myself a little, uh, you guys probably can't see that. Yeah. I got myself a little uh, makeshift wind block here. I got a little northwesterly wind blowing in here trying to play with the fire trying to keep it as hot as I can get it here I'm starving starving Marvin I had a little pastry with my coffee this morning and heck it's got to be three o'clock <clears throat> that's another thing I don't really get in a hurry to do anything anymore it's <laughs> There's stuff to do in the shop today, but I had to get out and, and get away from the house um, just because I had to get out of the house. So uh, I'll wait for this to get done and dump that pasta in there. And there, you guys have seen people cook before. You don't need to see all that. So I'll come back when uh, my lunch is done and share that with you. I got my fatwood fire in. I got my mail call. Happy Fatwood Friday to everybody. Um, good health to everybody. Andy, Wendy, get Will. It sounds like you guys are getting better. Get well. Uh, we could all use you back amongst us. Dom, it's good to see you back, my friend. I see James G is back. Uh, seen him comment. We were all wondering what was happening with him. Sherry's back. It's all looking good, folks. Going into winter, we need everybody to be well. So I'll be back in a little bit when my lunch is ready. Hey, Tommy hit me up and asked me... Uh, my stuff's still boiling, so I thought I'd switch over from the GoPro to my uh, my phone and show you guys uh, that shot that you got when I was driving. This little uh, tripod that I got here, it's called an Ultrapod. I bought this like 20-some years ago, and you can still buy them. They got a couple versions of them, but this is what I attached my GoPro to. It's attached to a bed bar right now, a bed extender bar. And uh, been a great little, uh, even my dash shot that I took when I was, when I was coming, and when I talked to you about getting out of the house, <coughs> that's uh, I was using that tripod. That's a great little tripod. I've used it for tons of stuff. It's got a, you can strap it to stuff. You can use it as a tripod. It's got a quarter inch standard uh, tripod base. 
And then uh, I got my, uh, my solar charger going that I uh, got in that trade with uh, Mr. Jerbs from the uh, uh, Miss Alley. I got a package from them, so I'm gonna plug this back in here. Keep my phone charged up, and uh, I'll be back in just a little bit when this is, uh, yeah, veggies are going good, huh? Little Nero's working good today. So, it's always fun to get out and cook with something I make. I know folks, a lot of folks are doing it. Going into winter, hopefully we'll see some more folks using them, so I'll be right back. We're close. Good thing, because I'm hungry. Yeah. Yum. All right. I'm gonna finish it off and have some lunch. Well, I suppose it's time to eat here. Let me turn this down here. I figured I'd dirtied up the bowls anyway. I might as well be civilized and eat it out of a bowl. So, dump some of this in here. That's good for you, huh? Mmm. That's good. So, yeah, that's broccoli and cheese, rice, and some kind of pasta. It's got some pasta in it, some kind. But, uh, yeah, did pretty good. I didn't stick it. Pretty good for the first time out. Um, so, we'll uh, get to chowing on this. I'm making myself a uh, cup of uh, a cup of joe here that I can enjoy by the lake here after I get done eating. But uh, yeah, let's give this a try here. And see how it tastes. Whoa. Mm. Okay. Uh, let's see. Smells good. Smells real good. Mmm. Good. I probably could have let it sit a little longer. It says let it steep for five to seven minutes, I think. But it's still good. Mmm. So, I had the camera turned off. You guys couldn't hear it, but Mark, he carves outdoors. This is for you. Do smoke. I kept getting smoked out a couple of times. Because if you go to pocket bellows and use one of these little stoves, when you add wood, you lose a lot of temperature. You gotta really time it out. So if you add new wood, you wanna blow some, some uh, blow in there and get a good heat going so your new wood will cook off, so or uh, kick off so you don't lose all your heat. But uh, yeah, I got, I got smoked out a couple of times. I said, douche smoke. <laughs> you're a funny dude, Mark. I enjoy your videos, brother. Keep them coming. I really do. I know you're reaching that stage where you're getting a little burnt, working a lot. We all get there. I mean, I don't work, but sometimes I struggle coming up with some kind of content. And I know I'm going to go through this one and edit probably some out, try not to keep it so long. I don't know. It just it seems to roll on. And, uh, I don't know, I hope people stick around and watch the whole video, because I really try to make it entertaining. But, uh, anyway, I know uh, Chuck said something about that, and some other folks have done that, and old Redneck and Ron, you guys are good, man. You just make them fires and get on with it, and do your, uh, do your tributes, and... <laughs> And uh, dedications on your fires and get them done, man. I'm, I, I, I uh, appreciate that. I, I got to get better at it. So, and I'm rambling on now. So, everybody have a great weekend. Uh, I'll try to get this edited up and post it tonight. It's Friday night. I'm gonna watch some World Series tonight. Go Houston. Sorry, Allie. I just wanted Atlanta to beat LA. I hate the Dodgers. Uh, gosh, I didn't even think about that. Sorry, Nathan. I know you're from down around there. I hope you're not a Dodger fan. I used to be. But anyway, it's all good. Uh, have a great weekend. You guys stay safe. Andy, Wendy, get well. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Who knows, I might get... Oh, you know what? I got something. Super Clean contacted me. See, I hope you watch to the end, because there you go. Super Clean contacted me, and they said, Hey, you going to do that drawing or what? So, 
Oh, get out of here, Mr. B. Uh, Got to be a subscriber before today or before this video comes out. And uh, just say I'm in or, yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah, there's, yeah, nothing. Just comment. How's that? Just comment on the video. And uh, like I said, you got to be a subscriber before this video comes out. Because uh, I know there's a lot of pirates that lurk around in the in the shrubs looking for uh, free stuff. Free, 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 right? Anyway, don't even follow the channel and then jump right in there. Anyway, great weekend. Stay safe. 22 a day. Obey the law. He's scab and I'm not. Fab Creations out. See you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.